everybody, welcome back to the K2 and Online School. We're here this week, and this week we're going to be talking about kind of a fun topic to mix up our weekly quick tips. So the topic of this video revolves around a video that is semi-viral within the paddling community right now. I'm going to have a link for that video in the description, and I'm going to showcase some parts of that video within this video. In this video, there is an OC1 downwinding in Hawaii, and using their canoe paddle, they actually break it trying to catch a wave. did not have a spare paddle lashed onto a yaku to reach back and grab. Subsequently, they had to paddle with their hands for over five miles. So the amazing part of this video is he was going just as fast catching these waves using only his hands. into the bay where he was finishing, he had equipped his slippers onto his hands. Putting his sandals on his hands, he was using that to try and grab more water to propel his boat forward. So that leads us to the topic of this video, where we are going to analyze and use different types of sandals in propelling a boat forward. I have two different sets of sandals here. I have a slide style, and then I have the typical sandal with the loop here. These sandals with the straps actually do not belong to me, and a friend left them in my vehicle during our last downwinder, and I don't know who they belong to. So Jason or Patrick, if you're watching this, these are your shoes. And of course the slides with stitch on them, these are mine. We will be analyzing top speeds using these two different sandals against using just your hand. Within that data, we are gonna use two hands pushing forward, taking those skills in the outrigger canoe, we're gonna try and figure out which one is fastest, and then take those skills into the surf ski. So we're gonna take our equipment to the lake, we're gonna test run this in the boats, and then I will be back here to report which of these was fastest, or was it faster just to go with your hands. Before we do that, we do want to point out that the paddler in the video linked survived and was able to use his waterman skills and prowess to safely make it back to land. It should not be understated the safety involved on going on a downwinder, making sure that you have proper PFDs, extra paddles, a safety system with the people around you. This video is not a commentary on that video from that regard. If you would like to see some opinions of how to make that run safer, simply go to the comments of that video. We are making light of the situation as it is something we can look back and laugh on because everybody made it out safely. And the primary question is, which one of these slippers makes you go faster? So we just test running the Draco. Which one do you think looked faster? Um, I'm gonna go stitch the slides. I think the I think the sandals are there. So we're gonna check out the GoPro footage. We're looking at the top speeds, and you guys can tell us which one looked faster. We're gonna take that and put it in the Vega.
All right, everybody, we're back in the studio after conclusive scientific data. We have confirmed that the sandals with the strap, or as they call it in Australia, the thong, this is important to help with the leverage and getting good grip with your hand as you make connection with the water to propel that boat forward. So really the moral of the story is pack your slippers with you when you go on your next downwinder. If your paddle breaks and your backup paddle breaks and you got nobody else to give you a spare paddle, these may come in handy. You're definitely going to want to practice a little bit before putting this into usage out in live combat. Thank you guys so much for checking out the YouTube video this week. A little change of pace making light of a situation that could have been very dire. Ultimately, being a good waterman means taking advantage of the resources available to you to maximize your success is the key. Don't forget to check out the K2NOnlinePaddleSchool.com. We have 200 videos outlining how to help with your technique. There may be a series on Sandal Paddling 101. If you'd like to see that, please leave a comment. We'll see you guys next week for a legitimate quick tip for paddling.